Hello everyone, welcome back, and in today's video, I'm going to be making a how-to of how to clean your membrane keyboard. I already made a video about this, where I totally disassembled the keyboard to do it, but I wasn't really showing you guys how to do that, because in that video, it wasn't even supposed to be a how-to video, I was just showing you what I did, so... I'm going to be redoing this video right here because I want to show you guys exactly step by step how to do this and I'm going to do it without having to take apart this entire keyboard. So uh, let's jump right in. Okay, so first of all, you should take a good quality picture of your keyboard. It has to be good quality so that you can be able to easily read the keys. Next, you're going to want to pull the caps off. You can use a keycap puller or your fingers, and, uh, well, I used a flathead screwdriver, and just go ahead and pull them all off. The bigger caps have to be pulled off and then slid out because there's this metal bar that gives them extra support. Next, you're going to put all the keycaps into a cup of water, and preferably with soap, and mix it in and turn it and, you know, scrub it and all that. Then, if, you, if the text on your caps are, like, written on with some sort of ink or something, you're going to want to wash them, take them out, and dry them. But if they're etched on, or, like, laser etched or something, then I recommend you leave them to sit overnight so that the water and soap soaks into that dirt and really gets it off. Just like how I did it in my uh, mechanical cleaning video, which was uh, a giveaway. You guys should go ahead and check that out. Next, uh, uh, the next day, or, or the same day, go ahead and take some cotton swabs to clean the underboard. If you don't want to have to do all that work and you have the skills, then you can take apart the keyboard and then wash it under the sink, but I personally don't like taking apart membrane or, well, any kind of keyboard, so I just went ahead and wiped it all off with the cotton swab. The next day, after that's all clean, or the same day depending on what you did, then go ahead and dry off all your keycaps. Make sure they're totally dry, and then put them all back on, referring to the pick you took earlier. And there you go, your keyboard should be done. One thing I did forget to mention though is that there's those rub there's these rubber things under the keyboard. You're gonna want to take those all out uh, before you do any kind of scrubbing or anything on the main underboard because you don't want to accidentally lose those things because you need them for the board to function. Okay, so another thing I want to say is that I will be including a little bit of ads in my videos from now on because I want to try making a little more revenue and I'm going to try to keep the ads under 10 seconds so you guys don't have to worry too much, but I will be including a little bit of ads in my videos. Uh, the last thing I want to say also is that uh, none of you guys are following me on Twitter. I'd like you guys to follow me on Twitter at YTTechie over there because it gives me live updates and I can interact with you guys and ask you what you want to see next and all that. So follow me there at my Twitter and that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Bye.